Stage one is the quadruped cervical retraction. In this position, you wanna make sure that you're not too forcefully retracting the chin so you don't get the sternocleidomastoid activated. And you wanna hold each position for about 10 seconds so you're building up muscular endurance and complete about 10 to 20 reps. Stage two builds off the initial exercise of the quadruped cervical retraction. Now we are adding a rotation component making sure the entire time the retraction of the chin is maintained. Stage three, you're adding resistance to the cervical retraction, still maintaining the same form, being sure the chin stays tucked and you're not over exerting and getting the sternocleidomastoid activated. You're still concentrating on the deep neck cervical flexors and the deep neck cervical extensors. You should be looking to execute about 10 to 20 reps. You can hold it anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds, so again, we're building on that muscular endurance. In the video, I'm just demonstrating with a quicker speed so you can see the actual form of the exercise. A variation of the previous exercise can be executed at your desk or kitchen table. By placing your elbows on the table surface, in this situation, I'm placing it on a bolster, putting the band behind your head, securing it firmly, and executing a cervical retraction. Uh, that is one way of increasing the resistance. You can also adjust the resistance by extending your arms or performing a mini tricep extension. Either way, you want to make sure you're not exerting so much that you feel your sternocleidomastoid activate. Again, this exercise is designed to help target the deep cervical flexors. This exercise is a modification of the scapula tease. You are going for, through a more complete range of motion, targeting the lower, mid, and upper traps. When performing this exercise, you want to exaggerate when you're coming down with your hands that you are reverse shrugging, and when you are coming up so your hands are above your head, you're not overly shrugging. You want to maintain a externally rotated position of the shoulders so your thumbs are always pointing up and you want to maintain uh, a chin uh, retracted or cervical retraction when performing this exercise make sure you do not enter into excessive lumbar extension the cuban press can be executed in a standing position like the demonstration or on a bench with your chest leaning against it as long as the back of the bench is not high enough to where you have to significantly retract your chin. When performing the exercise, enter into sh uh, scapular retraction and then externally rotate the shoulders and reach overhead. This way you're engaging the lower traps, the mid traps and the upper traps. Uh, when you bring your arms back down, make sure you're doing a reverse shrug, engaging the lats and depressing the shoulders. Shoulder PNF pattern D2 flexion can be executed using a band or a cable system. If you're using a band, you want to make sure that you're stepping on the band with the opposite than the working arm and that you are stepping back with the leg of the working arm. This way you are engaging the mid and lower trapezius as well as the shoulder external rotators. You want to make sure that you're reaching into a Y position. The analogy I like to give is like you're drawing a sword. Your thumb starts pointing backwards and finishes pointing backwards.